Hello YouTube, we're going to make another tire tool. See how that's forged, flatten on the diagonal. We're going to make the other one we haven't decided yet. We've been fidgeting around. Uh, we're going to cut that off. We're going to hammer that down. We're not going to grind it. We want it a little bit wider. So we want a tire tool like this one, but wider. This one was wider and it broke once. I didn't temper it right or I got carried away. So, we went and bought two more of these. This is the Phillips, the straight, we're just gonna leave it alone. Uh, we got a straight screwdriver, we made the pry bar of a straight, we're just gonna leave the straight screwdriver alone, just put it in the toolbox for a keepsake, I guess. Uh, they had probably three sets of these left and I picked the best one. Uh, the only difference was some of the writing was flaking off so that's the only thing the difference between why I picked the best one so here we go we're going to cut it off we're going to do this in the wood stove so we'll give you a few pictures we're not going to really show uh, me hammering with on the anvil we did that with a homemade knife a while back so you got to see what it's kind of like but we will show you how hot the stove is and the coals are when we pull it out so we'll, we'll show you how hot it gets so stay tuned Okay, we'll show you how we got this stuck in here. This thing is hot. You can't get your face near it. I don't think you can even see the tip of it. And I'm using my flapper to keep it where I want it so it's kind of above the coals. And I don't think the handle is going to get hot. So there you go. That's how we're going to get this red hot. Okay, we're halfway there. We had to stick it under the coals. That flapper thing works good because I can keep it. I've been mean, spraying water to make sure this don't get hot. So let's get the door closed. Okay, we're about done. We just wanted to show you if you can see it on camera how red it is. We're going to put this in our ash bucket and then let it cool down over here. Just like that. Leave it set. Uh, the reason we're doing this today is about 12 degrees outside. But boy, is it hot by this thing. We're going to shut this stove down. It's about 80 degrees in here. Okay. I would say take a deep breath. It's not perfect. I mean, I took my small ball peen hammer out here about this far and hammered a little more to get it. We're going to wire brush it off. We're going to do a lot of file work. We'll round these corners over. We kind of put the sharpie marker on it, but that's really not the way we want it. See that? Kind of around the corners. This is going to be a tire tool. It, the only thing is, when you make it this way, this ridge right here is riding on the rim, sliding. It'd probably be better if it was flat, but I want this as strong as the other one. So I've had the other one for a lot of years. I broke the tip on something. That was prying on something working on a car, not doing a tire. So I figured make it this way to be stronger. Take more to bend it. Okay, we'll go wire brush it and do a little work. I said we're going to do a lot of file work. And maybe some Dremel to clean it up with a sanding drum. But and then we'll re-temper with a torch. We'll, what we'll do is we'll, we'll see how hard it feels like it is. And we'll probably just take our little map gas torch. Heat it up and quench it to make it a little bit harder when we're done. We don't want it brittle. I'd rather have it bend than break. That's what happened to the other one. I think what it... I did, I just quenched it in water, used it, and snapped the tip off, so. Let's talk. More work. Okay, this is Scrubby Will, then our belt sander. And then we'll do some file work. We're not going to take anything off the corners around it till we got it shaped the way we want. And I modified this, I did not make a video, it was a headache. I had to redraw three holes. This mouth with three holes. I had to make a little template. Uh, had to make a template, then turn it, and like this was the shaft, and the round drawn part was the hole in the tin. It was kind of complicated, so I didn't make a video, but I'm sure anybody could figure it out if you study it. But yeah, it's straight up and down now. Remember, I leaned back when I first bought it. It's a lot easier to use. But it shakes more than what it did before. Maybe because the laid back had better balance. 
Okay, we're off topic. Let's get back on this project. Okay, we made a mark about eighth of an inch back. Well, it is eighth of an inch back. It's, you might go over under. But first we rounded the shape, and then we went halfway through the thickness. So we'll flip it over. Not quite halfway. And then we'll match the other side. And just keep looking at it. Flip it back and forth. Like when you're making it shape for a knife you know don't do too much on one side it'll look like a wood chisel think you know what i mean okay we are done it's not perfect i'm not gonna spend all day making perfect it's all smooth there's no sharp edges remember this is gonna be grabbing into a tire bead this will be a lot easier when i want to use on a car tire or the big or any size tire on a garden tractor. Because you get the tools and you have to pull them out. You, they have to be slippery and smooth to get it to yank it out. You can't have no sharp edges. I like it. It's the way my other one was before I broke. Similar, a little bit wider than my other one before I broke it years ago. There you go, we're done. Thanks for watching. We'll try to get a couple of good pictures.